Hi everyone, it is January 27th and uh, this week I thought I would do a um, walk through the cathedral again because it's been a while since I've done that. I did that in the beginning of 2021 when of course that was our first holy year. Um, in January 21 I think I walked through the cathedral and I'm linking to the, those two videos that I have uh, the earlier walkthroughs down in the description if you want to look at the uh, earlier videos what the cathedrals uh, cathedral looked like uh, at that time but today I want to walk through it again with you and um, actually I did the walkthrough yesterday I recorded the video yesterday but I thought I'll I'll do the commentary uh, with you today because I didn't want to be talking while I was in the cathedral as you can see weather is beautiful uh, beautiful blue skies about the two three degrees in the morning Celsius and up to about 14 15 uh, during the day so it's been like this for weeks um, so it's I think um, a few pilgrims have been walking coming in to Santiago these days they're about 30 40 a day now and uh, they have had beautiful weather at least last few weeks so we're on the Plaza de Quintana you see the holy door there with a the guard that door is only open during holy years and uh, since the Pope was very nice and extended Hello. the 2021 whole year to also be in 2022 the door is still open so uh, below me actually when you see my face here below there's uh, some photos that i took of the cathedral too um, did a slideshow of those photos so now we're inside uh, as you can see quiet this is going to be busy in the summer starting from about easter and throughout the summer, throughout September, October, November, I'm thinking this is going to be very busy. So that's one of the reasons I did the walkthrough now, because uh, it's more comfortable walking in the cathedral uh, when there's not that many people. So as you can see, the sun is shining through the windows. Um, we hang a right. All the, the reform, they have done a lot of work on the cathedral in the last few years. And one of the new things they have is, is the lighting. You can see the lights hanging down from the from the roof there. Confessions, it's it's down in here. And I also think this is the place where they used to do the English Mass when they were had English Mass here. I think the English Mass now is down at the chapel at the pilgrim's office. And then there's a side chapel uh, in the cathedral. Uh, to the right, right here. Some more confessions. Um, this side chapel up these stairs is usually where if people get married in the cathedral, it's done in this chi side chapel at the end here. I decided not to go in because there were some people in there, so I didn't go in with the camera. Anyway, yes, yeah, so look at the lamps, look at the lighting. It's, it's brand new for after the reforms they've done. They also brand new speaker system in the columns there. You see those speakers there? Uh, so it's easier to listen to what's going on during Mass. And you see, of course, the Bota Fumeri, Bota Fumeru hanging there at the end. And when it swings, when this swings, it almost swings all the way up to the to the roof. It's quite amazing. Now this little uh, indent here is where they used to have uh, the Santiago uh, Mata Matamor Matamoros. The, the, that they decided to take that away because that was a bit controversial. So they put a new little figure in there. So as you can see, much brighter. They painted the roofs uh, and, and new, or and I guess the color isn't new, but it's just new paint, and it, it doesn't look as humid it, as it used to be. The main altar, of course, with Santiago there in the middle, where you actually it is possible to to walk through the side and come up the other side and give Santiago a hug. I'm not sure if they still do that. Uh, COVID reasons, I'm sure. Um, now we're walking down towards um, where you find the uh, the the arches at the at the beginning 
uh, at the end of the cathedral. And this is where the new, the new section is now, where they have done some changes in last time. Uh, this, there used to be a wall here made of wood, and now it's, it's, uh, it's taken down, and you can see the Porticula de la Gloria, which is well worth a visit if you haven't seen it. It looks like it has been blocked off by the little cord thing there. Uh, so you can't go, you have to book a special visit, I think. You can see the statue kind of there on the arches. So this is what it looks like up to the main altar. Of course, the chairs are new. Uh, Covid-wise, I guess you get more space between people if you if you use the chairs. I'm not sure if the chairs are going to stay there forever, but at least now there are. And then a, a screen telling you how to get to the pilgrim's office if you're a pilgrim and you want to go and get to uh, your Compostela. 10 a.m. to 6 a.m. 6 p.m. That's the current opening hours. I'm sure that might change once we get into a more busier season. So I walked up the aisle again and you can see the the uh, the organ there on the left. That was a big part of the renovation, fixing up and cleaning out the organ. And you can see on the on the flanks here on the sides, you can see they have benches. Here they don't have chairs, they have benches. So I'm, I'm assuming they will change out the chairs we saw earlier with similar benches once we uh, COVID permits. And now we're almost around and you can see now the, uh, the exit from the uh, cathedral is now through the gift shop as it is the case of many places now that are a bit touristy. You, <laughs> you go through the gift shop to see if they can get some income there. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'll try and make some weekly videos if we can find some topics for things to talk about every week. Anyway, that's what it is for now. Hope things are good where you are. Take care.